uh, Melakaliki Maka, I think. This yeah. song's for you, Curtis. <laughs> because they know what a big fan you are of this time of year. Also, the sign I brought in that said, uh, Oh, oh yeah. yeah! Only 46 days till Christmas. That's the yeah. 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 Look at this! <laughs> Look at this guy! Oh man! We need some an explanation about this guy soon. Yeah, we'll uh -huh. talk about it. <laughs> oh, we'll, we'll unpack it. Almost Famous on Mass Ave downtown has a fantastic dinner menu and cocktail list. Yeah, welcome to owner and bar director Curtis and executive chef Bradley. I like to tell us more. Hey guys, welcome. Hi, how are you guys? I'm so excited to have you on the show. Yeah. Ooh, yeah. This looks so good. So I know you're on on a Wednesday, which is perfect because you have this. Really cool special going on on Wednesday. Yeah, yeah. Can see it's like you. our martini night essentially. It's our martini and tapas. So we do a lot of shows as well. Um, so sometimes we'll, we'll have live music also on Wednesdays. Nice. But we have a full tapas menu and kind of a dinner menu. You can choose two of those items, two martinis. 40 bucks. That's Love it. Love that. Yeah. 40 bucks? Yeah. And Two it's all just like, do, I mean, classic gin martinis, yeah. vodka. We got the best Cosmo. Best espresso martini, martini in the city. Yeah. A little bias, but. I love it. And if you don't know Curtis, he's one of the finest mixologists in Indy. And yeah. uh, I'm sure the martinis are fantastic. Yeah. I want to learn from Chef Bradley uh, what you've brought today uh, yeah. from Almost well, Famous. I'll start with the appetizers at Southwest. The pincho here is uh, Luxardo cherry and uh, goat cheese, Mercia goat cheese. It's Ooh. dipped in wine, so it has a nice red. <gasps> Rind. Wow. What? Okay, we're gonna have to try okay. that. Okay, yeah. To try that. Uh -huh. uh, pan con tomate. This is the winter version. The summer version is fresh grated. This is a uh, pickled tomato on top, and then a uh, sorry, piquillo and burrata puree. That looks okay. amazing. Uh, this here is the shishito. It's a raspberry and chamoy. Chamoy is like a tamarind and a hot, it's like a hot sauce with yeah. tamarind in it. Nice wow. Meat. Okay. So it's a little more Latin influence. Yeah. Oh, I love that. And talk to us about this beautiful dessert right oh here. Oh my goodness. Cheesecake. Yeah, so it's a uh, white chocolate and saffron ganache underneath. Uh, Gosh. It's a Basque cheesecake, which is... You know um, we have to get in oh, there. Oh, yeah, that's 100%. Yeah. Oh, can't man. Uh, try balsamic. That. Glaze and uh, diced strawberry on top. Oh so my word! That's oh, a combination. you know we're gonna try that. <laughs> how did you guys? How did you guys sync up? The two of you. Mm. Uh, honestly, uh, through I oh, wow. have been so with for about good. a year. I was yeah. looking for a good chef to come wow. through, kind of like impress me. Yeah. And Brad hit all the marks. For and sure. he impressed me. Like, I can yeah, see why. We had, like, we had like, a conversation that went really well, and he stepped in and just like hit yeah, the ground running. And, and so I love it. All these presentations are all all his. That's beautiful. Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah the yeah. presentation is such a fun part of it. Yes, yeah, so yeah. it's like pincho, so like mm. a basque or whatever. It's just like it's oh on, a, on a pick, so it's just like food on a pick, so it's really easy. Oh, so you can throw whatever on there. The that is so good. Mm. Yeah, the pinchos are fun. I get to kind of create. <laughs> yeah, I've it's never had a combo like that. I like no, that. Um, Curtis, you're making us a drink, right? Yeah. yeah okay. So we, we brought some appetizers and some more dessert stuff. Love it. For me right now, I'm just kind of in the mood for it's like grasshopper season to me. Okay. We get a glass, uh, grasshopper. All right. It's nice. going to be uh, some cream of mint, cream of cacao. Uh, we do a little amaro in there as well. What's amaro? Amaro is going to be just an Italian bitter. Oh, okay. So okay. That, All right. That's what amaro means. Just Italian yeah. Bitter. Yeah. Yeah. Then some uh, some cream. Okay. Shake that up and then get your sargon. Oh yeah. Got to yeah. get that ice. Get that uh -huh. All right. All right. That's good. Look at that pro move. Yeah. As Jillian would say, that's one of the finest noises in all the land. I love that sound. Yeah, that's so great. Push and go. Nice, smack it. Yeah, right. I what love seeing the, the technique. Yeah, you know? yeah. What Everyone would you pair this with? Uh, this is kind of more dessert. -y. Okay, or all like right, great. Coffee or anything yeah. like that, like an espresso at the end of your meal or anything nice. like that. Yeah. So this would pair very well with that. Okay. I have a feeling this is gonna look really cool. Yeah, it is. Oh, oh yep. That's really cool. That is awesome, and the texture. Yeah. It looks. Wow. Oh wow. Hang on. Oh yeah, he's topping yeah, it off. Yeah. <laughs> Chef Bilek, like, do you guys uh, do you trade recipes? Do, you're like, okay, I'll I'll give you this appetizer if you give me a drink. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah, a little quick pro quo. That's the kind of thing that has like changed a lot uh, in the cocktail scene. Yeah, uh, is going. I mean. Bar chefs, if you will, like going into the kitchen and kind of picking their brains. Yeah, that's like cool. Oh, no, I have to really step up now with these cocktails. Right, yeah. yeah. <laughs> just come with like, yeah. yeah. There's some bread. Do you know? Yeah. Okay. What did you just chocolate. put on the top there? Fresh chocolate. Fresh chocolate? Fresh chocolate? Don't mind if I do. Don't mind if I do. Yeah. Where are you guys located? People are seeing this and they're like, yeah. we have to go there. 721 Mass F. It's on the 700 block. Um, oh, so right between Chad and Tap and Mesh, right there. Okay. This so. is like mint chocolate chip in a mm -hmm. cup. Yeah. Oh, that smells so good too. Yeah, I'm so happy right this now. This is amazing. <laughs> so then we do have a pop-up that we're going to be doing here throughout December. It's going to be oh, starting uh, November 30th. Yeah. It's uh, called Sip and Santa. So it's going to be like a tiki Christmas kind of themed. Take it to the island into the cold Indiana weather. Yeah. yeah. It's like fresh uh, tiki cocktails. 
Good rums and good juices all fresh yes. Love all it. throughout December. Well, really quick, just because we, we promised the viewers we got to give them what they want. What's the story behind this? Yeah. Guy? So I recently went to Hawaii with my <laughs> wife. Yeah. And we were just randomly, uh, one of our friends had to go uh, to CVS real fast. Yeah. And all of these are lined on top of the shelves. <laughs> and I had to hear the story about it. I mean, they're everywhere. And so I asked the uh, the clerk, I was like, what is the, steel, uh, the story with these? And yeah. I guess they come out with a new one every year. <laughs> So that guy flew four flights from Hawaii. Oh, wow. Uh, oh, he's here. been through a lot. But that wasn't stories, awkward at all. And the looks that I was getting taking that guy back, because I had a bag over his head. <laughs> oh, okay, <laughs> yeah. All right, bag we'll over. get dirty. Yeah, well, yeah. Point. So all the looks I got yeah, in the Yeah, you got to preserve from. that face right there. <laughs> yeah, you do. So. Wow, well, thank wow. you for bringing him. Yeah, yeah. Chef thank Bradley, you for... Curtis, this is great. Yeah, you guys <laughs> got to go really check out so Almost good. Famous. Guys. They're on Mass Ave. Give them a follow on social media as yes. well at Almost Famous Indie, guys. Cheers. Thanks Cheers. So much. Cheers. I'm coming in and getting this cocktail. Yep. So good.